Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be discussing how Honeywell 5800 series sensors are compatible with the Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus security system, as well as the other Pro Series panels, the Pro A7 Plus C, the Pro A7, and the Pro A7C. Um, in order you to use Honeywell 1500 sensors with the system, you need to have a Honeywell Home Pro Takeover module installed inside the panel, uh, which I have in my hand right here. And you're actually going to be setting the dial on the Pro Takeover module to zero. Let um, me see that the arrow is facing towards zero, so we don't need to adjust it. But you will need to have this module installed inside the system. Uh, this doesn't come included with the system. You need to buy it separately, regardless of which version of the Pro Series you have. Uh, so what this does, uh, this is a legacy receiver um, that allows you to use one of five legacy frequencies with the system. Um, in the case of Honeywell 1500 sensors, like I said, you want to have the dial set to zero. Um, there are other options on there, but if you're using Honeywell 5800 sensors, um, you're not worried about those. Um, and you won't be able to use the other legacy frequencies, such as the 2 gig 345 megahertz or the 319 megahertz of the Qualsys or the Interlogix GE. Don't worry about those. Uh, you'll only be using the Honeywell 1500 sensors. Um, so the way that this works is that um, uh, the system has 250 total zones, and 127 of those zones are for encrypted sensors, those being the Pro 6 series sensors and the 6 series sensors. Um, and the other 123 zones are the legacy zones. Um, that's what you'll be getting once you install the Pro Takeover module. You have to have this installed to use those 123 zones. And when I, when I refer to those 123 zones, um, really any zone number can be associated with any sensor, um, whether it's a legacy or um, a, an encrypted sensor. It's just the order in which you enroll them. Um, so if I enroll an encrypted sensor first, it will get the lowest zone number, probably zone number one. And then I, if I roll um, an encrypted sensor after that, that would be assigned zone number two, and so on and so forth. I just can never exceed 123 legacy zones or 127 encrypted zones. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'll, and I'll show you a little bit about that when we're um, enrolling um, some sensors with the system. Because uh, we're going to have this, um, we're, we're going to skip the actual installation and process on this. We have that in another video if you want to see how to install the Pro Takeover module. Um, but you will need this to use the Honeywell 1500 sensors. And uh, the last thing I do want to just mention real quick, um, when I'm talking about Honeywell 1500 sensors with the Pro A7 Plus or any Pro Series panel, um, when you're using the Pro Takeover module, you won't be able to use life safety sensors um, such as the 5806 smoke detector, the 5808W3 smoke and heat detector, 1500 combo. Uh, you won't be able to use life safety sensors such as those. Um, also, carbon monoxide sensors, those are considered life safety sensors. So you won't be able to use those with the Pro Takeover module. Also, key fob devices, so the Honeywell 5834 key fob, uh, you won't be able to use that with the Pro Takeover. So, but, but pretty much any other um, sensors. Also, um, one, actually, one last thing, uh, you won't be able to use the bi directional sensors, um, anyone that uses two way communication and a house ID code, uh, the 5828 keypad, for instance, the 5800 wave siren. Uh, they'll use, those use the house ID code, so you won't be able to set that up because this doesn't have a house ID setting. But other than that, it's pretty much free game. So uh, we're going to cut here. This will be installed inside the system, and then I'll show you um, how we can enroll a sensor, a 1500 sensor, and I'll show you it working on the system. And I'm also going to show you enrolling a six sensor real quick just to show you that the zone numbers um, do indeed change depending on the order of enrollment. So uh, let's get at it. OK, so we have the Pro Takeover module installed inside the Pro A7 Plus. Um, so I'm going to show you how you would enroll a Honeywell 5800 sensor with the system. Uh, we have a Honeywell 5800 Mini that we'll be using today um, to get it enrolled with the system. Um, so let's just get at it. Uh, make sure that you have local programming mode on your system, or else you won't be able to do this in person. Uh, but we're at the main screen of our Pro A7 Plus. Uh, we're going to click the small um, hamburger button at the bottom, the three horizontal bars. We're going to scroll down to Tools. And we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112. And then we're going to choose programming. Um, so we're entering the programming mode. We're going to choose peripherals. And we're going to click the plus icon in the upper right corner. You see right now we had nothing on the system. Uh, we're at the add a peripheral screen. And we're going to fault the sensor and see if it wants to enroll. There we go, first try. So. Um, Let's just go through this really quickly. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, going through each setting. I'm just going to breeze through it. Um, sensor type 1500 takeover. This is uh, using the Pro Takeover module, and it is part of the 1500 series. Uh, you will actually see this even if you're using a different legacy frequency if you didn't have the dial set to zero. But um, we're fine with that serial number. We're also fine with. We're not going to mess with the partition or anything like that. Uh, we will give it a name. We'll call it. Um, we'll just call it bedroom. 
uh, and then we'll, we'll have it be bedroom door um, because the device type will be door. We're not going to change that. We're going to keep uh, the response type. We're pretty much just going to leave everything alone. Um, and we're, we're fine with everything just for testing purposes. We'll do save in the upper right. And I do, do just want to show you faulting and restoring the sensor that it is working with the system. Uh, we'll go back to the main screen here. Actually, I can just press the security icon in the bottom right corner of the shield. And I just want to show you, if I open up the door window, you see uh, we do get the fault on the system showing that it is programmed. Um, now, the last thing I do want to do, um, I want to enroll a six sensor just to show you that um, they do mix and match the zone numbers. Uh, that was the lowest zone number. Uh, that was zone number one. So this one will be assigned zone number two. Just to show you that the encrypted sensors don't, um, that they, they can pre any zone number can be used with an encrypted sensor or a legacy sensor. That's, that's what I'm showing you here. So um, we're at the main screen. We're going to go back into programming the three horizontal bars at the bottom. We're going to go to tools. And we're going to enter in our installer code again. 4112 is the default. 112. And we're going to go to programming. And we're doing peripherals and the plus icon in the upper right corner. And we're going to fault our sensor here and get our six sensor to enroll. Let's try doing a tamper, um, see if that takes. Uh, it is giving me the green enrollment signal, um, the flashing light indicating that it's not enrolled in the system right now. There we go. Um, six contacts, um, that is the one that we were looking for. Um, and you see it is going to zone number two. Uh, the last one was assigned to zone number one, just to show you that any zone number can be used with an encrypted sensor or a legacy sensor. Um, it's just a matter of the order in which you enroll them with the system. They're assigned the lowest um, available zone number, regardless of whether it's legacy or encrypted. Um, and we'll just quickly go through this uh, just to show you. We'll call this uh, kitchen, um, not W, uh, K and kitchen. And we'll save it. And we'll keep the device type as is. Everything looks good to me. We'll keep the chime type as standard. We'll save it. And I just want to show you it being faulted, just to show you that it is enrolled. We're using um, a six sensor um, alongside um, a legacy Honeywell 1500 sensor. And one thing about the six sensors is once you enroll them with the Pro Series panels, they can never be used with the Lyric again. Um, see, we do get the kitchen door. And then we can close our door. And there we got our system ready to arm disarmed state. Um, so there's using uh, 1500 sensors alongside a six sensor. And I, again, once you enroll a six sensor with um, a pro series panel, it can never go back to a Lyric. Um, of course, the pro six, the pro six sensors, uh, those are only for the pro series panels. Those were never for the Lyric. But um, that's showing you that Honeywell 1500 sensors are compatible with the Lyric and just showing you a little bit of how zone numbers work on the system. Um, if you have any questions about um, Honeywell 5800 sensors or about the Pro Series alarm panels or alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.